Hello and welcome to my print on demand channel where I talk about print on demand and various other ways to make money online. As you may or may not know, one of the main things I focus on is how to do things for free. And I think there's a lot of confusion about um, my methods and how you can actually do things for free. So in this video, I'm going to show you a step by step process to starting a Redbubble kind of business and doing everything without paying for anything. So the first thing is finding keywords. I do have an entire playlist for this, so check out the playlist. I'll leave it linked in the description. But let's just very quickly talk about how I personally find keywords for free. So I use a few different keyword tools to do this. Um, I used to use this one a lot more, but I stopped using it because I discovered a better tool. But there's this one, which is keyword tool. Okay, this is a completely free tool. There's also keyword planner, which is by far the best keyword um, tool. It's by Google and it gives you the easily the best information. And then there's also Ahrefs keyword generator, but I don't really use that tool since I discovered Google AdWords, but I just thought I would mention it. The second thing is we're going to be using my spreadsheet, which is uh, this one right here, free print on demand spreadsheet. As you can see, there should be some people already on here. Yep, there are three people currently using the spreadsheet. I do want to just very quickly talk about this. So all you need to do is you need to, you can add to this as well if you want. So if you click file and make a copy, this will give you a copy. And if you think of more niches or whatever it might be, then you can use this tool to do that. So let's just grab a random one. Actually, just before we continue, let's talk about this free tool as well, which is SEO stack. Okay. And then let's talk about the website we're actually going to be uploading to, which is Redbubble. Redbubble is the best starter print on demand um, thing, in my opinion, just because it's obviously completely free and it's just the least amount of effort for probably the most amount of reward. The only problem is they are banning people randomly, which is kind of annoying. But generally speaking, all you need to do is you need to take something from this keyword. So we'll go with T-shirt Jesus and we're going to hit enter on here. This video is very similar to the video yesterday, but the framing of the video is very different, which is the important thing. OK, so you might say to me like, oh, this video is very similar to yesterday's video, which is true. But wait, what? Wait, did I just find an amazing keyword? Oh, okay, there's quite a lot of keywords. Ah, uh, God, that was that really, really scared me for a second. Team Jesus shirt, this could be a good one. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking for a good keyword. And what do I mean by a good keyword? I mean a keyword that doesn't have too many results. Ah, uh, so this would be okay because it looks like not all of them are this exact keyword. So Team Jesus could be a very, very good keyword, for example, because it has 100 to 1000 searches per month and um, it doesn't have too many results on Redbubble because not all of the results on Redbubble are the exact keyword, if that makes sense. Something really interesting that someone told me yesterday, which I do need to make a video about. So I'm just going to quickly add this to my video I do. Um, is that the when it says trending 900%, it's actually one of the best keywords. So trending 900% on AdWord okay. is a good keyword. So apparently these are the newest keywords. So binge Jesus. I don't actually know what that means. But it looks like it only has 370 results, which is insane for something that has up to 1000 searches every month. So this would be an amazing keyword. So we're actually going to use this keyword for this example. So what we're going to be doing is we're going on Photopia, Photop, whatever. So what a lot of YouTubers at this point do is they try and push you towards a paid um, graphic design tool like Canva and Kittle. OK, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. However, if you are living in a country where one dollar is, you know, a lot more expensive, then signing up to something like Kittle or Canva, which is $10 a month or $15 a month, is going to eat into your profit massively. And if you don't make sales in your first month, you will likely make a loss. And the idea that I would help people make a loss, that would I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. OK, so instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a free tool, which is called Photopia. It's not really 
you know, it's, it's basically just um, Photoshop, okay? So all you do is click on new project and we always do the same, 4,500 by 5,400. People say that you're supposed to do 150 DPI. However, when you then try and upload it to Redbubble, it sometimes say that it's too big. So make sure you hit transparent here and then you can see here that we actually have the uh, exact thing that we want, okay? So I'll make this bigger. What? Let me just do that again because I, I always do everything too quickly. So you click on text and click here and then do control F, okay? And then double click the word shirt and delete the word shirt. Please, if I'm going too quickly, just um, watch the video on 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 speed, okay? Hold control and then drag this like that, okay? Or what we can do is, let me just uh, undo that. Or what we can do is, hello? we can uh, type in the number here, okay? So let me just start this again. Let's delete this. Okay, so we'll click here again, and then we'll make a new bins Jesus, and we'll make this 700, like that. Sorry, you have to select it first, and then do 700. Oops. Mamma mia. And this is why I never make design tutorials because I suck at designing. But I do want to show people how to do this for free. Binge Jesus shirt. Highlight the bit that you want to make bigger and then, why is that not working? Make it 700. Maybe 700 is too big. So we'll try making it like 500, I guess. Okay. Okay, Let, let's just uh, move on to the next bit. You just want to make it, you can put it on two lines on one line. It doesn't really matter, but there needs to be a space, okay, in between. It needs to be kind of like three quarters of the way and it obviously needs to be centered. When it's centered, it will have that red line here, okay? You can put it a little bit further down, but the important thing is that they're always the same, in always in the same place, okay? Because then you can copy your designs, duplicate them and make it a bit easier. All of these are gonna be good, okay? But what we can do is we can see, because it looked like before, a lot of them were all the same font, okay? This one here, this blue, okay? So what we wanna try and do is see whether we can get this exact font. So I actually have a tool. I'll show you this tool now. It's called Light Shot, I think. Yeah, it's called Light Shot, okay? which that's the tool that just allowed me to take that screenshot very easily. So you just press control, print screen. On a Mac, this is automatic. And then hit save and then call it, you know, screenshot four. And then we're gonna go font finder, what the font is, okay? I've never used this tool, but I'm guessing this tool is just as good as any other tool. So we're gonna go on desktop and we're gonna look for this uh, photo, which is here. Let's see if we can find the exact font. Click here to identify the font. Let's go. News Gothic BT. So Gothic BT, let's see if we can find anything. Gothic BT, no. Maybe just look for a Gothic. You wanna try and find one that's as similar as possible. Just so that you can, you know, be the meme because it's, it's obviously a meme here. Does that look anything like it? No. Gothic bold, news gothic. Let's see if that comes up. If I try news, news gothic, nope, gothic. Hmm. Alternative, alternate gothic. We'll find one, it'll just take some time. I'll be back when I find one. Okay, so after looking for a while, I found this one, which uh, when I make this bold. Yeah, which is here. I'm gonna make this uh, extra bold. I think this, yeah, this looks a lot like it. It's almost exactly the same. And then the last thing is we need this color. So I'm gonna go color picker, click here. And what we're gonna do is we are going to use your image upload image so browse or drop image go on uh, desktop sorry if you can hear my neighbor guys I really don't like my neighbor <laughs> don't tell anyone 
I shouldn't have said that, but I really don't like him. Uh, it's this color here. So, oh my God, there's a lot of adverts. Uh, what do we need? The hex, I guess. Um, no, we need that one. So this, copy that, put that here, remove that. There we go, perfect. There we go. So now we have basically the exact same as this here. You've got to remember, so let's make it a little bit bigger now that we can. Even bigger, maybe even 750. Yes, perfect. You want to make it as big as possible always, okay? And again, I'm not a designer. I'm just giving you the tips that have helped me make sales in the past. Okay, so that is now done. Let's go on export as PNG. Obviously, you're going to want a PNG because you want it to be... Um, What's it called? <laughs> Brain work, please. Transparent. You want it to be transparent. And then we're gonna go on Redbubble, okay? And you can see here I have 30 sales, okay? Which you might think is terrible, but I really, I don't have that many designs at all. If I had more designs, obviously I would have more sales. So what we wanna do is, it looks like the predominant way to do this is uh, binge. Uh, have it on black with this blue. Okay, so it looks like Not that many people have this keyword Jesus. Yeah, it's it's a really really good keyword to be honest with you. I found a really good one here It's a perfect example. I have 127 designs with 30 sales. Okay So background color what we want to do is we want to put this on black 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 Okay, you can see that it's all a little bit high. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go one by one and edit this, okay? This one is fine, this is this is good. We can leave this. You wanna go through this process slowly. I'm gonna go through this entire process just so that people can see, okay? I know that most of you know how to do this, but I'm still gonna go through this entire process. I feel like not enough videos talk about this and People see my other videos and they don't really know what the hell I'm talking about or how to do any of this part at all. So it's definitely important once in a while to make a video like this. You wanna get it on as many products as possible. The reason that you wanna get it on as many products as possible is because it helps with SEO because your product will appear on more web pages across the internet basically. Okay, so let's just Again, you can skip this part if you know what you're doing. To be honest with you, the, the video is basically over if you know what you're doing up to this point. But I just wanted to make sure that enough people or more people know how to do all of these annoying little parts of the process. With phone skins, there are two ways to do it. I like to put it right on the bottom like that, just because I think it looks good and funny. I actually really like this keyword. I love it when I make one of these videos and I just happen to come across a really, really good keyword and that makes the video a lot better, in my opinion. Okay, blah, blah, blah. If I put the design in the middle in the first place, I wouldn't have had to do this, to be honest, I don't think. So that was my mistake. I think they might have changed it. I swear it didn't used to be like this. No, that, that's what I get for not uploading a design for about six months. If not even more, I've been a bad YouTuber, guys. I've not uploaded a design in so long. I'm actually kind of enjoying this. I might start uploading again. I might see if I can make some more sales. I know I say this every single time and people get annoyed with me, but uh, yeah, I might actually start uploading again. It's been so long. I love trying to make sales on Redbubble. It's one of the, it's one of my most, uh, it's one of the most fun ways to make money online, honestly. That's why I love it. Okay, so for these ones, you want to make sure that you can actually read the design, even if it's a little bit smaller, um, like that. You need to put it like on the left so that it appears here. That'll do. Again, not a designer. Um, I'm sure you guys can make much better designs than I can. I don't know why this keyword's making me laugh so much. It's a good one. It's a good one. Okay. Yes, good. Let's just make that a tiny bit smaller, like that. 
That should be fine. Hardcover journals, there are two ways to do this. You want to you want to put it either here, okay, like that, or what you can do is you can choose a pattern and do it like that. I might just do a pattern. Uh, clock, you don't want to enable clocks unless you've got a design that's specific for clocks because obviously a clock needs 12, um, what are they even called? Points. What are they even called? Uh, I don't know what they're called. 12 um, numbers and uh, obviously if your, your designer only has one thing like this, it doesn't make sense to enable um, clocks. And then we get to the reason why um, it's so important to have um, transparent designs is for things like water bottles, uh, whereas obviously with Canva you have to pay in order to do this. With this method that I've shown you in this video, you don't have to pay a penny, which is the whole reason I'm making this video. I want to encourage more people to not pay for tools, even though these companies contact me all the time and ask me to make videos about them. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it for free which they probably don't like at all. And if you're watching this video, then I'm very, very sorry, <laughs> but I don't care. I really don't care. I didn't make my YouTube money. I didn't make my YouTube channel to make money from my viewers. I made it to make money from YouTube itself and just to help people. So you can believe me if you, if you want, but I haven't really taken many sponsorships and I don't plan on taking many sponsorships. I will take the occasional sponsorship if it makes sense for my channel. And if I'm already using the tool, then I probably will take it. But other than that, I'm probably not going to take it. I am thinking of creating a jigsaw store. So be on the lookout for that. I think that's a really, really good idea. But yeah, uh, we're going to talk about the SEO and things like that in just a hot minute. Just need to finish this. Uh, design process. You can see this takes a long time, but if you make a lot of designs that have around about the same dimensions, then you're going to be fine because you can just copy uh, the design, which I will also show you if I remember, <laughs> if I remember in this video. Uh, skirt. I've never sold a skirt. I don't know why anyone would ever buy a skirt from this website, to be honest with you. Um, where's my design? <laughs> Hello. There it is. Uh, what is going on? Wow, that's really buggy. I don't like that at all, but yeah, I guess that works. Oh god, that looks awful. Binge Jesus, dog ball. Jesus. I'm not going to put any of these on just because I'm lazy. No, may as well just put this on because I have sold masks before. I still don't really know how these work. Like, is this the fold? Like, how? I sh when I look at something like, look, this is why I'm so bad at designing. Okay, I look at this. I have no idea what it means. Like, what? Can someone just explain to me how this? I just don't understand. I think it has to only be here. But honestly, I've got no idea. I really, I don't understand things. When I see things like this, I just, I can't understand them. Uh, this is digital art. Collections high, why not? No, I have the right, yes. Okay, let's do the SEO. So title, we want to use descriptive words such as, well, first of all, we want the keywords, so binge Jesus. Um, funny, Christian, aqua, blue on black. Um, hmm. Religion, Jesus, no, I already said Jesus. Uh, 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 uh. This guy's written t-shirt. Why? Why? Why have you done that? I said this guy. It's not a guy. <laughs> uh, these are some of the worst tags I've ever seen in my entire life. Aqua blue on black. Um, sarcastic. Okay. Tags, I always do the same thing. I just use a random uh, tag generator just because I'm lazy. So, tag generator. Normally, whichever one comes first on Google, top bubble index, that'll do. Another thing you can do, in, instead of typing binge Jesus, you could just type in Jesus here. But yeah, this loop. Copy top 25. Okay. 
And then this, I'm, I'm going to actually use ChatGPT. So if you don't know, ChatGPT oh, okay. is a currently free way to create AI content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do write a Redbubble product description for... And now I'm just going to copy and paste whatever the hell comes up. Okay, okay, okay. It's actually incredible. Wow. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, that was in that. That's just amazing. <laughs> okay, great. That is how I do my SEO as well. And then we're gonna hit save work. Bada bing, bada boom. Done. Okay, then what you would do is you can go back here. You can, for example, change the color. Okay, so let's do um, white. And then you would then export this again as a PNG. Save it. And then we're gonna go on, um, go on our portfolio. Might not be able to see our design yet. Should be able to though, because it's in the portfolio. Yeah, and then click on this little uh, thing, whatever it's called, the settings, then click copy settings, just like that. And then all you do is replace all the images. Okay, you probably guess what we're gonna do now. And click on downloads and then click on new project and then just copy. Replace all images, please. Okay, and then get rid of the word copy of and then we're gonna put um, white on black like this. And then just change the description a little bit. So da, 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 this eye catching the white pops, blah, blah, blah. And then you don't actually have to change anything else pretty much. Click on here and then save work. Bang. That's two designs like that. That is how you upload a lot of designs. Okay. Then what you can do is you can find another keyword. Okay. So Jesus saves. Yeah, that's perfect. Jesus saves. Jesus saves and then we do exactly the same thing blah 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 export as png and you get the idea this is how you upload a lot of designs guys okay if you're wondering the only problem with this particular one is the stickers you will not be able to see the stickers and the way that you resolve that is you just have a black version as well that's it guys that's how you get started with redbubble in 2023 and your print on demand journey having good seo good keywords good ways to upload a lot of designs and everything is completely free. I haven't paid for anything. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps and peace out.